would be the best way of protecting the trees. Uh, it's our opinion uh, that of uh, the residents who approach me and myself. Actually, the whole purpose of uh, asking for this condition to be removed is simply one of cost. Power foundations is a significantly more expensive uh, method of uh, providing foundations than strip footings, uh, which he wants to go ahead with. He's, 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 you know, he's produced a, a structural report to justify uh, what he wants to do. Uh, he said that he's uh, carried out two trial holes, which, which in my mind is completely insignificant based upon the size of the extension that's proposed. And also jumps to the conclusion that the building control officer will approve the, the uh, shallow depth of foundation that he's proposing with strip footings. And I've not actually ca only carried out two trial holes as assumed that there's an underlying sandstone uh, from which that he can uh, build up. And I believe uh, professionally that that's an unsound decision. Also, why is the tree officer, when he insisted upon and asked for a condition that power foundations be uh, adopted, as he completely turned around and said, on the basis of a structural report, um, that he's, he's allowing strip footings to, to go ahead? Uh, I think that this decision is completely unsound. Uh, the residents who have objected and live adjacent to this site uh, fought strenuously to stop the, the initial application going ahead. However, they've accepted the fact that it's, it's going to go ahead. All they're asking for is that the conditions that were imposed upon the original approval in February be adopted, and that the pile foundations that were asked for are uh, carried out rather than strip footings, which in my opinion, and the, and the opinion of the uh, objectors, uh, would detriment, have a massive detrimental effect on the trees. Uh, it says in the officer's report that the trees can't be uh, seen from the road, but that's not the case. Uh, they do have uh, an impact on the uh, environment and the view and, the, and the, the pleasant nature of where these uh, houses are. And it, it's considered by the objector that the, the applicant, Mr. Wilde, has a complete disregard for trees. Uh, having already been fined and, and, uh, and given um, various warnings on the basis that he's cut down trees without approval. He obviously has no respect for trees and, and how, you know, their effect on the environment. Um, my resident has also pointed out the fact that as far as he's concerned and he's taken advice on this, uh, that the uh, tree report has produced is out of date was based upon the um, requirements of tree reports based in 2005, which have been superseded, and uh, new British standards requiring additional uh, features of the report would come into play. We did ask that uh, possibly we, we have a site visit, which unfortunately we're not in a position to, to have now, but what we would like is for an independent tree report to be, be produced and um, given consideration, or um, just reject this, this application altogether and insist that the uh, applicant produces or, or, or provides power foundations as was originally uh, conditioned as part of the original application. Uh, it's my view and the view of um, the objectors that this application is just simply based on cost. He has no respect for the trees and the environment in which he lives, and it's simply down to the fact that power foundations are more expensive. And so I just ask you as members to reject this application after that. Thank you, Paul. Um, as the development has moved forward, um, 
work that obviously been, been undertaken by the applicant and, and, and it has now been demonstrated that the, uh, the works can't be physically accommodated in the way that that sentence um, that in the previous condition um, sought, sought to secure. However, um, by removing that a different type of foundation, having regard to uh, the additional um, uh, works that have been done and surveys that have been carried out, uh, the tree officer is satisfied that no tree on the site will, will, uh, will be impacted uh, or, or is how uh, affected. So, so that's why we recommend to remove the last sentence. Thank you, Matthew. 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 Thank you,
less than you actually got um, something that you can put forward for the few stuff that you can't use the application. Okay. Um, so you can use the application. Well, we have to have a look. We have to have a read.
So we've had a kind of
in relation to safety and immunity can be taken into account when considering parking levels on particular applications. The relevant risks associated with these reactions are set out in the methods of paragraphs 5.1 and 5.2, most notably, leaving the authority without any formal standards which would have implications for costs at any appeal. It is recommended that members continue to use SPD4 in determining applications until it is replaced with new guidance in the emerging course strategy level. Okay, the, um, yeah, Well, the description of the proposal is like it's described by 